So it's kind of rare when a micro brand make their watches in Switzerland and their prices come in at around the same price as other micro brands that are making their watches in China. Today we're taking a look at SWC or the Swiss watch company and we're looking at two watches. One is a GMT that comes in well under $300 and the second is a Swiss automatic pilot's watch that's made out of grade five titanium with an extra hard coating well under $600. So let's flip the camera and take a look at two very affordable Swiss made watches from SWC. So today on the channel, we have two watches from the brand Swiss watch company or SWC. Both of these watches are very affordable, especially considering the amount of specs that you get for what you are paying. There are two different watches here, although they look kind of similar. This is a Quartz GMT. It's powered by a Ronda 51524. This is called the Arc with the gray, sort of white pale gray dial. And then right here is the Hyper G. This is their pilot's watch. It's powered by a Sleda SW200. However, it gets a grade five titanium case with an extra hard coating. So that is pretty awesome, especially considering the price. We'll get back to that in just a few minutes. So I'm going to take the GMT out of frame right now. We're gonna talk about just the pilot's watch just for a few minutes. So like I said, this is powered by a Sleda SW200. You're getting a grade five titanium case with an extra hard coating, the crown, the case back, and the buckle all made out of grade five titanium. This gets tons of loom. Both of the watches get a lot of loom printed on the dial. So here, all of the indices are loomed. You have a minute track that's sort of a railroad track that gets loom as well. And then you have a black sunburst dial, and then you have uh, a date right there at the six o'clock that sort of replaces part of the index at six o'clock. You have a needle, for the seconds hand, there is no loom on there, I don't believe, but we're going to do a loom shot at the end and we'll double check that. And then you have sword hands on here, very liberally applied with loom. I believe the loom gets around 22 layers, something crazy like that. So it almost looks like it's raised off of the dial. So lots of loom on here. Like I said, we will do a loom shot. 100 meters of water resistance. So you do get a screwing crown, screwing case back. You also get a soft iron core for magnetic resistance. So uh, a little added benefit, especially when you're considering the price, the price on here, $556. That is pretty incredible for a watch with the amount of specs that I just listed. You do get a solid case back uh, and it is signed with the uh, SWC logo. And then it just says Swiss watch company. You also get a really nice buckle on here. The buckle is made out of grade five titanium and it still has a chamfered edge on it. So it goes all the way around the entire buckle really nice considering the price i'll do close-ups of it so you can see what i am talking about the crown on here is also signed you have a really nice chamfered edge that goes around the entire case uh it looks really good very nicely finished and you get that extra hard coating so this is going to be very hard to scratch considering it's grade 5 titanium it's around 11 millimeters thick or just under 11 millimeters thick i think around 10.5 millimeters is what i've measured so 10.5 millimeters. You have a pretty sizable crown at around 6.9, 6.8 millimeters. The lug to lug is around 47 and change, I believe is what I've measured a few times. Um, let me grab it. There you go, 47.9 millimeters. And the actual case itself measures in just above 40 millimeters. I would say it's around a 40 and a half millimeter uh, case size. So there you go. That's what I measure right there. So that is the Hyper G. This is a very good looking watch. Kind of reminds me a lot of the Longines Spirit. If you guys are familiar with that watch. Really great looking watch and also in titanium. I think they make that in a few different materials, but I think the titanium one is the most attractive. This is sort of like a really affordable version of that watch. And this is very affordable considering all the specs that you're getting. Great five titanium is not cheap. So a lot of brands make grade five titanium watches. They charge a lot more money for their watches, especially when they're Swiss made with a Sleet SW200. You're talking about in the thousands, not below $600. That's a great price. 
Speaking of great prices, this is a $250 watch. So it gets a lot of the same finishing. So you have a really nice chamfered edge along the entire case. This one is in stainless steel. You get a sapphire crystal with like six coats of AR coating or 16 coats of AR coating, something crazy like that. This also gets a lot of loom on the hands and the indices. The second hand actually has a counterbalance that is loomed. And then you have a little blue tip on that second hand. That looks really good against that gray background. It looks excellent. So this is gray white and there's just a little bit of blue that matches the strap a little bit. So the strap is really nice. It's rubber lined. It's a suede strap and then you have a stainless steel buckle, which is their SWC buckle and it's just signed right there. Really nice buckle on here. This is around a 39 millimeter watch. It's a little bit over 38 millimeters. So it's like 38 and a half millimeters somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, lug to lug on here is around 46, I wanna say. So the case profile is very similar to the other watch, the other uh, titanium watch, so 46 millimeters there and 5.8 millimeters on the crown. So this is a smaller watch, so everything's a little bit scaled down compared to the uh, Hyper G, so 9.1 millimeters. So everything here uh, sort of in line with the size of the case around 38 and a half millimeters. So definitely works. And again, here you're getting sort of, I guess you would call them sword or syringe hands. I'm not sure what you would call these and those are uh, liberally applied with loom as well. $250 for this watch for a Swiss made GMT. And the way the GMT works is you just put it into the second position and you just change the GMT. That's it. The GMT time is right there and it's very, very easy to use. So essentially this is a collar GMT. It works just like uh, other GMTs from Edda work, uh, you know, it is the GMT time that changes. But you have a little window here rather than having a hand, which actually I think is really nice and pretty functional. So very quickly, I'm going to throw both of these on my wrist and then we will do a quick loom shot. So the watch that I have on today is an Arnold and Son. This is the Globe Trotter. This is a sick watch. I love this watch. It's so cool. It's a watch that's been copied, but Honestly, uh, this is really hard to copy. This is a watch that uh, I don't think a lot of brands could pull off, but Arnold & Son definitely can do it with the manufacturer that they have, Le Joux Pere. You could see the movement right there. It was a watch that came out uh, a few years ago that tried to sort of make this in their own like cheap way with a, I think it was an NH34 or something like that, uh, NH35, excuse me. It just didn't work. They didn't do a good job. This is amazing. I'm going to do a full review on that. I am very, very impressed with it. Okay, so here is the Hyper G on my seven and a half inch wrist. This actually comes with two straps. This is the leather strap. It also comes with a sailcloth strap, I believe. And it also comes with a leather travel pouch. So uh, if you are traveling, you could actually put this watch in there with its straps. They have quick release, so very, very easy. Really nice watch, really good looking watch especially considering the price. You do have a screening crown, screening case back with 100 meters of water resistance. Here is the arc on my seven and a half inch wrist. This is around a 39 millimeter watch or under 39 millimeters. Really nice, nine millimeters thick. So it's very, very close to the wrist. I would say it's as good looking as the Hyper G, but obviously the Hyper G is a little bit of a special watch considering that it's grade five titanium with an extra hard coating. So pretty damn cool watch, but both of these really nice. Uh, this $250, very, very affordable. Very quickly, let's throw this under some UV light and do a quick loom shot. Well, there you go. Loom is excellent on both of them. Very, very bright. You even have these little hash marks that are loomed on the Hyper G. On the uh, arc right here in my right hand, you have that little loomed pip or counterbalance on the second hand so you could see that it's actually working in the dark. Excellent. The only thing I would say is I wish there was a little bit of loom on the second hand for the pilot's watch, the titanium watch, that would be really great. $565 for the pilot's watch with the grade five titanium case and $250 flat for the GMT, which is quartz. Excellent prices, really great watches. Both of them 100 meters of water resistance, sapphire crystals, all that good stuff. So you're getting really nice Swiss made watches for very, very good prices. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think down in the comments below. What do you think of these watches? I would love to feature one of their dive watches here on my channel. I've actually never featured one of their divers here. Uh, I would imagine they're pretty well made and I wonder what the loom would be on those. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think in the comments down below. 
I uh, want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you in the next video.